lady. I already told you. It's 40-23. There's not enough money here. Wait, I had a coin. How? Oh, dear. Where can I have put it? Security! Oh. Check out seven, please. Oh. We have a problem. <laughs> Sandra! Sandra! Hi, Sandra. We got a new gig. Great, Bo. What's happening? Something amazing, Sandra. A tanner called the toadstool office. Somebody stole a table, a donkey, and a magic cudgel off him. What do you think? Strange magic objects. Hmm. The magic table, the golden donkey, and the cudgel in the sack? <laughs> yes! It's a story by the Brothers Grimm. Let's see. Huh? Once upon a time, there was a very poor tailor who had three sons. They were so poor that all three had to go off in search of their fortune. The first to return was the eldest, and he brought a table back with him, on which huge amounts of food would magically appear. Then the middle brother returned, bringing with him a magic donkey. If you pulled on its tail, it would expel oh. gold coins instead of dung. <laughs> but on the way, an evil innkeeper stole the magic table and donkey from them. The last one to return was the youngest son, who also brought something with him. And the greedy innkeeper also tried to steal it. It was a magic cudgel, and when its owner shouted, Makala Kiski attack! The cudgel went into action and did not stop until the innkeeper returned the stolen table and donkey. <laughs> hey, I'd like a donkey like that. <laughs> oh. Ow. oh no, quick, Bo, let's get out of Ow. here. Say the magic words. Salak, Bo, let us. For the last time, where uh, have you hidden the king's gold? Honestly, Captain, I don't know anything about that gold. Uh, don't lie. Yesterday, I was guarding the transfer of the royal treasure myself when we were attacked by a magic cudgel. <laughs> And in this kingdom, there's only one cudgel like that. Yours. Captain, three days ago, the cudgel, the donkey, and the table disappeared from this house. I don't know how. You have to believe me, Captain. Enough. I've heard enough of your lies. Take them to the castle. If the gold doesn't appear, the executioner will cut off your heads at dawn. Captain, there's one missing. The terror has three sons, not two. Search the entire house. Find it. Now! <laughs> Come out of your hiding place. We'll find you sooner or later. He's not here. My father was telling the truth. It was a year ago that the innkeeper returned the magic objects to us. Everything was fine until three days ago when they mysteriously disappeared again. And now my father and my brothers are going to die. Ha! No way! You're talking to Detective Sandra and Foe here, kid. Uh, uh, my feet are killing me. You heard the captain. Shut up and keep searching. into hiding. We'll find the gold and the real culprit. So, let's get going. We've got just six hours till dawn. We'll start with the innkeeper. Only he and the tailor's family know the magic words to make the cudgel go into action. Okay, Fo, here's the plan. 
We'll pretend to be travelers and we'll discreetly search around. Got it? Got it, detective. You are speaking to the very definition of discretion. Yes, we're travelers. We <laughs> love to travel. Don't you got any luggage? Luggage? Did Marco Polo have suitcases? We experienced travelers do not need luggage. Room 13 on the top floor. Good night. Good night. One thing's clear. It's been a long time since anyone cooked in this inn. Sandra, we've searched everywhere. Even under the mattresses. The innkeeper is innocent. Hey, look, it's that donkey. Yes! Oh, little donkey. Magic little donkey, please give us some coins. I don't believe it. Ow! Ow! Enough! Who are you and what on earth are you looking for in my stables? Sandra Ogiaparity, fairy tale detective. This is my assistant foe. We're looking for a magic cudgel. Someone used it to steal the royal treasure. The cudgel? Detective, I never want to see those magic objects again. I learned my lesson. That cudgel beat me black and blue. I know exactly how you feel. Let's go, Sandra. He's innocent. Yes, of course. Good night, and please forgive us, sir. Oh, sorry. Aha, it's flower. Oh, don't you think it's strange that the innkeeper has flour on his shoes if he never goes into the kitchen? Well, if you say so. A windmill? How interesting. Let's see if I've understood this. The innkeeper had flour on his shoes. Flour is made in the mill. Cakes are made from the flour. With the cakes. Oh, Sandra, I think you've lost me. <sighs> Again. Aha! Uh -huh. huh? What a coincidence! The king's gold, a donkey, and a table. Let's see if they're all magical. Don't do it! That donkey could be a trap. You know what happened last time. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> ah! <laughs> no. By my grandfather's beard, where is the cudgel? Oh. Ah! <laughs> Careful, Bill, take cover! Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, it's worse than an enraged troll! You look so clever now, detective! <laughs> Thanks a lot, boss. Should I tell a joke or something? Uh, sing it a lullaby? Or uh, uh, should I show it how to bake a cake? Hello. Have you heard the one about the inexperienced cudgel that... Ah, mommy! Did you guess the magic word? <laughs> you have to understand, Detective. After the beating the magic cudgel gave me, it took me six months to recover from my injuries. Six long months hatching this fantastic plan. <laughs> Finally, that dreaded tailor and his stupid sons are gonna pay for what they did to me. Goodbye. I have to go, detective. I don't wanna miss the execution. <laughs> Ah, 
fighting out. What's that? It's weight. At this rate, we'll be completely buried in less than 15 minutes. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh. Just in time. Excuse me, let me through out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Sandra. It's been an honor working with you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. There's one possibility. Mac Tilakiski attack. <laughs> <laughs> For the last time, <sighs> where's the king's gold? I don't know. I really don't know. In that case, get ready to oh. die. <laughs> Lovely. But he will not be executed. But thank you, Detective. Is there any way we can possibly repay you? Well, um, could I have a coin from your magic donkey? Oh, dear. Lady, there are people waiting. We don't have all day, you know. What's going on here, Stella? Nothing. There's nothing going on. Lady, I found your coin. There you go. Oh, thank you very much, young lady. What? Huh? What's wrong? Is there something wrong with my coin? Lady, with this coin, you could buy the entire supermarket. Oh. 